What's going on, fellas? Just wanted to make a quick little video for the cats that I follow on YouTube. You guys know who you are. Much love and respect. Happy holidays to you and your family, and Happy New Year, just in case I don't make a video before New Year's. This video right here is just to talk about a few RC parts that I got, whether I bought them, uh, got on a trade like that item right there, got from Amazon like that, or got from a company that I bought an RTR from recently. So... Let's get in. First item I want to talk about is this cool little upgrade. Uh, I bought from RC Four Wheel Drive a couple CC hand um, parts. This is one of them. This is a CC hand part for XJ, and the other uh, part that I bought was this CC hand. Let me just grab this light. Was this CC hand part right here, which was a a rear left window guard, right and left window guard for the xj axio sex 10 to lexan body obviously i have a jeep which is like a xj cherokee i just have the hard body 324 wheelbase from Endura. it's on a gen 8 pack chassis kit running it with a 1080 esc some club 5 emblems uh, and teggy winch with the little toggle switch i do have a rc four wheel drive uh steering stabilizer the drag link which is the super lift i believe it's called and um i have a 550 21t trail master sport and i have an interior with the skateboard that ozy boy 81 did to cover up the uh the shock towers in the back you can kind of see it right there a little tech deck skateboard go check him out uh club five i got these exhausts from amazon for like seven to ten bucks and uh that's the item right there the cc hand that's this is the passenger side window one and this is the driver side window one. i just thought it was pretty cool and when i seen it on sale they go for like 18 to 20 i believe this was seven bucks and this one right here was about five bucks and this item right here i'll pop these two things out the little silver clip right there and i'll remove that piece and it'll go just like right there that little part right there will be all like chrome diamond plate and uh eventually i get to it it'll be the same color as my emblems which are the, the four by four i have the jeep up the front and i have the four by four cherokee on the side and uh jeep in the back i am running some 4.7 irock tires with some enjora b locks the rose gold copper ones and the stand is the Eco Power stand that I just for twenty five bucks spins freely. It has the bearing in it, so you hear the like the eight points of like articulation, but then it can stop like as well. Or I can remove the little bearing and have it slide like freely like that, but just one one spin. And uh yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some cool little guards that I got from CC Hand and uh and these little items right here. Next item I want to talk about is, uh, you guys know that I collect items from the 80s and 90s, whether it's Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, Ecto-1 Car, Jason, Freddy, Chucky, that whole 80s and 90s era. I'm 40, so that's my whole era growing up, so I just like collecting all these items. So eventually when we get our home and I have the man cave, I'm able to set up like a RC side, and then the other section will just be like 80s and 90s stuff. And this right here is the Playmobil Marty McFly Back to the Future truck, the extra cab. This usually goes for about $49, 50 bucks. They had it on sale for $17. Got it from Amazon for that. That was a good deal. I have the DeLorean. I have a few of these. And uh, they're made to take out and put together. But obviously, I'm not going to play with it. It's more just to keep it in the box and just for the whole nostalgic look of it. So, uh, yeah, that's that right there. Next couple items I want to talk about. I got these items right here. These are the XVDs for the XVD axle for the Ultimate Scale Yoda 2. So anybody that has a TF2 long wheelbase uh, chassis, then I have the Extra Cab RTR, which is the AKA Marty McFly truck. I got these and when my stock uh, steering, when these goes on the stock, I have these to put in there. They're basically a better little upgrade. And uh let's talk about that's the double bar the headache rack aka the roll bar long story short the rtr car dropped in september i sold my boat for a couple of dollars i sold my uh a gen 8 pack with the comanche build for a few dollars and to put the rest in like 70 to 80 dollars cash in 
Bought the RTR. The body came with a few little scuffs. RC Fowo Jai said they'll take care of me. After two months, they told me their request for me to stay with the stock body and they'll still send the body out. Well, the other day I got the body. So once I got the body, I sold the original for a few dollars to a guy in Canada. They actually sent me a set of bumpers. This goes for 85. The two bumpers go for 75 a piece. So the two bumpers for like 60 each. So all in all, uh, the R RC four wheel drive extra cab that I got, I paid roughly after selling everything that I got extra paid about 330. So now I just got the body. I got to put the roll bar on the hardware. These are uh, these are from when my stock axles go. I got the XVDs, which is like the good upgrade. I got the CC hand exhaust, and this is for the Mojave 2 to 4 door, part number VVCO428. And this is a, uh, they have the forerunner. They have a few different exhausts, but people say the 2 to 4 door Mojave fits the best and looks the best when it comes on the Marty. As far as part number for the XVDs, it is Z-S0823. Cool little upgrade for $30, $35. So that's for the that's in the cut for when my stock goes. This is gonna go on right off the rip. And I'm putting this on the body and little by little put all the parts on. So by the end of the week, I should have all that go. Have all that to go. These are some CC hand mud flaps. If you look closely right here, you see that they say four-wheel drive right there and then the marty truck in the back to the future movie the wall the white letters on the tires was in white and the four-wheel drive on the mud flap was also white so i think i'll white out these i don't know about doing my tires but uh yeah so these are some cc hand mud flaps for the forerunner but forerunner parts go on the extra cab as well and this is part number vvv co746 if you're interested just some cool mud flaps now I do have a bunch of Amazon high lift scales that go for about 10 to 12, 15 bucks tops. Um, I seen this the other day. This is the RC four wheel drive high lift one for $30. It's just so scale, functional lift. It's just a cool item to have. And uh, they have it in all black with the gold, all red with the black. And then they have the Patriot edition, which is all blue with the white. I went with this, had a $5 coupon, so I got this for $25 ship, not too shabby. And uh, I do got a mount coming from eBay that uh, it'll, it hatches on to a, rear, to a rear bumper. So what I'll do is, since I don't got the bumper with the whole setup that has the piece out there, I'll take a rod in, I'll slice, both, I'll slice the tip off the rod in that holds a little silver ball, place it right here, put a little hole in whatever bumper I decide to use it on, and then the little mount uh comes with like the piece that will hold this in place so i have this on a mount this piece right here on a mount and then it has like a little circle piece that goes to that rod end or whatever mountain bracket on the bumper and i'll just put the screw into there so that'll stay going straight up on one of my vehicles i don't know which one yet so uh that's that so yeah, I ended up getting this rear bumper the other day from RC Four Wheel Drive. This goes for about eighty-five. You see, it has these little clip sucky things right there, and that goes the KC lights to mimic the Back to the Future KC lights. Um, I also got this bumper that I found on Amazon a while back. Just wanted to show you guys. It's a cool little Stinger bumper for Axio, but as long as you guys got little connectors to. Whether it's a square, I got square adapter, circle adapter, so it kind of fit any trail red crawler you got. And uh, this is just a cool little stinger bumper, gunmetal gray. Uh, some good weight on it. And for $7, you can't beat it. No, I paid $9 for that. I apologize. Next item I want to talk about are these cool killer body LC70 Land Cruiser metal emblems. Got these from RPP Hobby for like $12 to $14. And uh, just like I like the metal envelopes from putting it with here, it's kind of just like this. So I always think it's a cool little scale upgrade. Next item I want to talk about is this CC hand rear bed that I got on a trade. I traded a few little small parts for it to this cat in Florida, and this as well is a CC hand. And this is a rear bed cage for the LC70. 
And I got these the other day. These are few cells. And then the where they sell this out on the CC hand store. They have like a few uh a few cells right there. But these little bad boys go for 18 to 22 a piece. This overland set right here goes for 72. I got it on sale for 24 on RC four wheel drive. They had a big sale. And this is for the TRX4 Defender. This little CC hand uh, little panel right here. It's like made of some aluminum or something. It goes in the window part of the Defender TRX4 with these two CC hand fuse cells uh, uh, screwing into the panel. But what I did, I just wanted these fuse cells. And instead of paying $22.22, I just bought this whole set for $24. i will take these two, place them right there, and I'll use this extra panel for some type of scale accessory to put on some rig so that's that right there with that this right here is a cc hand rear diamond plate that i got in a trade i basically got that panel which is you see that's the panel right there the rear dot the rear cage i guess it's called that's the uh, panel cc hand that goes on top and this right here goes on the rear bed part of the lc70 i'll take the 3m Lift that up. That's like some sticky tape or something. And then I'll put this inside here. And then both those two and whatever up there. So that's that. And shout outs to RC Four Wheel Drive. The guy, like I said, I got an extra body, two extra front bumpers, a front bumper, a rear bumper, and uh, uh, that headache rack. Bumpers alone are 75. That right there is uh, 85. So that's about 235 alone on that with the body. That's why I told you that the $700 vehicle ended up being about $330 after I got rid of everything. And this right here is part number ZB0193. It's the parts tree that hold when you get a light kit. And I do have the PowerShift RC light kit for the 4Runner. Again, 4Runner parts for the extra cab. They just have that cool old school look with the yellowish headlights and all that. And uh, they actually sent me the hardware as well. Don't get me wrong. I waited about 90 something days to get it. So it was a very, I, had to, I did learn patience dealing with RC four-wheel drive. But since the vehicle was such a hot vehicle and sold out so fast, I had to wait. At one point, I was going to return it and, uh, and get my money back. But since I collect items from the 80s and 90s, that RTR for me, I seen the value because I was going to get just the kit, just the kit part and the plain body. The kit was about $399. The body's $160 something. So that was around 630, 600, just those two pieces alone without putting everything in. So the fact that I was able to get the whole Marty truck, bumpers, headache rack, like I said, the bumpers and the headache rack alone is 235. Then you're talking about the body, the chassis, the hubs, the tires, B locks. I see the value in it. And uh, like I said, I collect that stuff. So it was a win win for me. Yeah, guys, so I just want to show you guys the parts tree, diamond bed, CC hand, rear plate. This item right here on A-Main Hobbies, it's part number VVCO723, CC hand overland scale products for the TRX4 Defender. This goes for 72, some places 181. So uh, they got them on sale for 80 for $24 on RC4 Wheel Drive website, but there was only five left, so good luck if you guys want those. This I got from RPP Hobby for like twelve to fourteen dollars. I got this for twenty five. Cool little scale jack, and the rest was like twenty, uh, twenty, and then this was like about twenty five or thirty. And those other ones was on sale. Got that from uh, RC Four Wheel Drive. Got that from Amazon. Amazon trade and trade. So yeah, guys, just wanted to show you guys. Oh, if you guys are interested in the Scott, I have a. Uh, for my stands for my trail trucks, I use bed risers that you get like a pack of 10 for $7. So I got them for my daughter's bed. She doesn't use it. So I took her to use as my, uh, my hold my tire up. I mean, hold my tire up, hold my RC trail truck up as like a, uh, a RC stand. But like my main stand that I have is this Eco Power stand. Like I said, it fits all types of trucks, trail trucks, bashers, whatever it is, spins around freely. And uh, yeah, guys, oh, I also put these little exhaust tips on the other day, well, the other week. So yeah, guys, just want to show you guys my rigs, little cool little upgrades that I did with the with the uh, the rear window panel, whatever it's called, and just show you guys some cool little scale parts. And uh, sorry for the bootleg video, a little ghetto, but I'm working off one hand, using the other hand to pick up stuff. 
Again, blessings to you and your family, and happy holidays. Peace.